Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome to another Final Fantasy XIV video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get the Crystalline Fishing Rod. This is the Relic Tools in and Walker. Alright, so in order to unlock this quest, you will talk to Korra right here. You must have unlocked the Crystalline Mean, which was back in Shadowbringers. Have 6.0 Main Story Quest completed and have the Yulmorian Script Exchange unlocked. Alright, so in the Crystarium here, you will have a new vendor which will give you your tools it's just going to be at x 10.4 y 7.8 simply go to the white strip exchange and get your tool for 1500 white scripts now for gatherer you can easily get your white scripts through ocean fishing which unlocks after you do the first class quest in fisher and limps lamenta right next to the arcanist guild is where the fisher boat will take off every two even real life hours so 8, 10, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8 a.m. or p.m. doesn't matter. Okay? Now, if you want to remember when the boat leaves, under your actions and traits, go under extras and go to the alarm system. Add your alarm, add your name of the alarm, pick local time, leave off repeat, pick a.m. or p.m. And then obviously, if you're doing 8 a.m., you'll want to set it to 7.59. And then set your uh, reminder timer. So it will remind you five minutes before the alarm officially goes off. Then hit confirm. So you can add 10 alarms per day. And of course, they will reset. So that's how you figure out the alarms. So like I said, get your 1,500 scripts and get your tool which I need to do right now. So I accidentally deleted my recording of this the first time. So we're going to be doing this again. So I'm going to show you guys where to catch the fish. But before that, you need to get your bait. So under others, you get select bait balls for five white scripts a piece. If you need help with um, spear fishing for white scripts, I do have a video for that. So make sure you have enough of your select bait balls because you'll be needing this for all four fish for the first and second step. All right, so the first fish that you are going to be needing is going to be in Lakeland, and then the second one is going to be in Calusia. But before that, make sure you talk to Cora here and accept your first enhancement quest. And then she'll let you know that you need think 60 components for both fish and then when you get your fish you will exchange them for the components if you are using patience 2 you should automatically get the second uh, the highest collectability required so we're going for the platinum seahorse and then the clave keeper all right so here we are in lakeland right around the source you can actually can be in the shallow waters. It still counts as the source. So the macro that you're going to be using is going to be forward slash AC cast wait 0.8 seconds forward slash echo hook. If it's right on the money of eight seconds, it's going to be the hard candy. If it's before eight seconds, it's going to be the seahorse. So pop your patience too. Go ahead and use the macro. And if it's doesn't catch or if it's at eight seconds then just do hook and try again to save your bait so that then pops i'll do that recast so you're pretty much going to be doing this for the first part Alright, so it's a little bit before 8 seconds, so hopefully this is the seahorse. Ah, there it is. So that was probably like the, at the 6th or 7th second mark. But that is how you guys catch the platinum seahorse. So with Patience 2 up, you should always get the highest collectability that you need for two um, components. Okay, so you need to get 30 fish, because 30 times 2 is 60, and then we will go over to Calusia, and then we'll do the second fish, which is the Clave Keeper, which is going to be a little bit more difficult. 
All right, so here we are in Calusia, right here next to the Sea Gazer area at X17.0, Y35.1. Now this is going to be a second exclamation point bite or a powerful bite, but it shares its timer with two other weak fish. So you are going to be getting a lot of bait being taken from the fish that you do not want. And there's just no other way of doing this. So you're going to have to get a lot of bait for this. There's no set timer for this one, so it can bite within a different time frames. But you're just going to have to keep trying, trying, and trying until you get your 30. You can do the prize catch instead of using patience 2, if you want to do it that way. But you will be taking advantage of identical cast, which I forgot to mention. Make sure you identical cast the seahorses as well to make it a little bit faster. So you're going to take advantage of your Thalax favor when you get your large fish. Okay, so we are going to activate Patience 2. Pop a Cordial, make sure that's on cooldown. And let's pray. So usually when you do Hook outside of Patience, it will just cancel out. Cancel it out, but unfortunately it caught it. So we're going to surface slap it just so we can have an advantage. Okay, this is going to reduce your chance of getting the other one by 50%. And there it is. So powerful hook set for this one. And there is the clave keeper. All right, so we're back at the Crystarium. So after you've done catching your fish, you go to the Trades Good Exchange, and then you exchange room for your components. The Seahorse requires 110 for the highest, and Clave Keeper is 665. I've already passed in those fish already, as you can see here in my chat log. Once you have gotten your 60, talk to Core here, and then you'll get your Augmented Tool. And then what you do is accept the quest and adaptive tool second enhancement and then you will do the same thing for part two which i will be releasing simultaneously with part one so you guys can go straight into that since i've already recorded that one all right and then once that is all done you will get your nice crystalline fishing rod all right guys so that's pretty much going to be it for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy 14 content and join the first brood. If you guys want to join my Discord server, the link will be in the about section down below. So make sure to join us there. And if you guys want to support my channel monetarily, I do have YouTube memberships available. So until next time, if you ever walk in the glorious lights, avoid Bahamut, always remember to keep forging ahead. Happy fishing!